Okay, so we've designed our users page, we've designed our chat page. Let's design the auth page now, the login and register page. So we want it to look like this. We want to have panels, one for the login form and one for the register form. So we can use the Quasar tab panels component to do that. So I'm going to jump to the Quasar docs page and jump to view components and tab panels. Okay, so I just want something like this. So I'll click on view source and grab the code for this first one. So I'm going to grab this first cue card component. And I need to open up the auth page, which is in pages, page auth. And I'll just paste that inside this Q page element. Fix the indentation. And I'll grab the script as well for managing these tab panels. Paste that into our script section. Okay, let's save that. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of padding around the page to squish this tab panels component in a little bit. So I'll add a class of Q-PA for padding all, dash MD for medium. Okay, and we want this to be a login tab and a register tab. So we currently have three tabs and three tab panels, and we only need two. So I'm going to remove this third QTab component here, and I'll remove the third QTab panel component here. We should just have two now. Okay, and we want these to be login and register. So these QTab components here, I'm going to change the label on the first one to login, the label on the second one to register. We also need to update these name props as well, because these tell Quasar how to link these tabs up to the appropriate tab panels. So I'll change the name on the first one to login and the second one to register. And we'll update these Q tab panel components as well. So I'll change the name on the first one to login and the other one to register. And just remove the content that's in them for now. And I'll just stick a H5 which says login in the first one and register in the second one. And we'll also need to update this tab property in the data. So I'll set that to login by default, so it shows the login tab panel. Okay, they seem to be working now, but they're a little bit squashed up. So I'm going to add a class of full width to the cue card component to make this stretch across. Now within these tab panels, we want to show a form. So on the register page, we're going to need a name, email and password fields. And on the login panel, we're going to need just email and password. So these forms are going to be almost the same. So we might as well create a single component, which we can place on both of these tab panels. So I'm going to create a new component in the components folder. And I'll call it login register dot view. And for now, I'm just going to stick a paragraph which says login slash register. And back on the page auth component, we need to import this component. So down in our data, I'm going to add a components object. And we'll import this component with the HTML tag login dash register. And to grab that component, we can just add require dot default and then the path to that component which is components slash login register dot view okay we have an error here can't resolve components slash login register right I've spelt it wrong so I'll change that to register okay and now we want to include this component within each of these tab panels so I'm going to replace these H5s with an element with the name login-register, which is the HTML tag that we specified here. Let's save that. 
Um, we'll see if we can see this component on both of these tab panels. Yeah, we can see it on the login tab panel. And we can see it on the register tab panel. Now we're going to need to display different things on these two tab panels and also trigger different functionality depending on whether the user is logging in or registering. So we can use this tab property to handle this. We can pass this tab property down to our login register component using a prop. So let's do that. So to each of these login register components here, I'm going to pass down this tab prop with the name tab like this. So this tab property is, will now be available within this login register component. So first of all, we need to add it to our props array within the data like this. So just add tab there. And to check that's working, let's just output that within this paragraph. So tab. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working. I'm just gonna clear the console and refresh the page. Oh, it's working now. We can see login on the login tab panel and register on the register tab panel. Okay, so now we're gonna need a form and some fields. So I'm gonna get rid of this paragraph tag and add a Q form component. And within that, we'll add some inputs. So I'm gonna to jump to the Quasar site, go to view components, form components and input text field. And I just want a standard outline field like this one. So I'll grab the source for that. Paste that in here. And I'm just going to break up these attributes. Now the first field we're going to need is a name field. So I'll change the label on this first one to name. And we're going to need somewhere to store the data for these fields. So I'm going to add a new data function, which returns an object. And I'll create a property called form data. And this is going to have three fields, a name field, which I'll just set to an empty string, an email field, and a password field. So we can now bind this first input to the name property here. So I'll update this V model, change that to form data dot name. Save that. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this Q input and create a input for the email. So I'll change the V model here to form data dot email, change the label to email, and I'll set the type of this input to email so that it gets treated as an email field. And I'll create another Q input by duplicating this one for the password field. So the V model should be form data dot password, Type should be password and the label should be password. Save that. Okay, so we have our three different fields. They're all a bit squished up together. So I'm going to add a class to each of these to add a bit of bottom margin with Q MB for margin bottom dash MD for medium. Okay, that's looking better. Now this name field, we only want to show this on the register tab panel and not on the login tab panel. Because when we log in, we just need an email and password. But when the user registers, we need to know what their name is. So what we can do is on this first queue input with the name, we can add a vif directive on this. And we can use this tab prop to only display this field on the register tab panel. So we can do v if tab is equal to register. Let's save that. Okay, you can see the name field has now disappeared from the login tab panel. Let's see if it's still on the register tab panel. Yeah, you can see it there. Okay, so now we're gonna need a submit button so the user can submit this form. So I'll jump back to the Quasar site Go to View Components, Buttons, and Button. And I'm just going to grab a basic 
primary colored button like this one. So I'll click view source and grab that second Q button component. And I'll paste that under the last Q input. Save that. Just going to break these attributes up. Now I want this button to be over to the right. So what we can do is we can surround this Q button in a row. And we can use the Q space component to push it over to the right. So before the Q button within this row, I'll add a Q dash space component. And we can now see that the Q space component is filling the available space here and pushing the button over to the right. Now we need to set the label for this button. Now on the login page, we want it to be login and on the register page, we want it to be register. So we can just set this to this tab prop that we're passing down, which is always going to be equal to either login or register. So we can just bind to this label on the Q button and set that to tab. Save that. Okay, on the login tab, the button says login. And on the register tab, it says register. Now in a real world app, you'd probably want to add some validation to this form. But in the interest of speed, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Okay, so let's add the ability to submit this form. So I'm going to add a submit handler to this Q form component. And we'll call a method called submit form. Also, this Q button, we're going to need to add a type of submit to that so that it submits the form when we click it. And we'll create this submit form method down in the methods object, which I'll create. And we'll add our submit form method. Now we're going to want to submit the data to two different places, depending on whether the user is logging in or registering. So again, we can use this tab property to differentiate. So within this submit form method, I'm going to add if this dot tab is equal to login, then I'm just going to for now log out log in the user else we want to register the user okay so let's see if that's working clear the console so we're on the login tab if i click login it says log in the user or if i'm on the register tab and click register it says register the user okay great so i think all of the design for our app is basically done so we've got the user page designed the chat page designed and the auth page designed. In the next video, we're going to set up Vuex and Firebase for our app so we can start changing this into a real chat app. Make sure you click my head to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. And if you want to grab the source code for this app, go to dannys.link slash smackchatcode. And if you want to learn all of the basics of Quasar Framework, Vue.js, Vuex and Firebase, then check out my full course at dannys.link slash quasar.